Hey there guys, it's Misty here from the Jolly Fed Elf. Happy Friday, welcome to the last video of the week. I'm so excited to have you guys with me. Today I'm gonna to be using the, excuse me, the Unicorn from the Magical Day stamp set. And as you can see, I have a rainbow of markers. Um, I added a color after I started coloring, which is Melon Mumbo. So um, I will have the colors listed. Um, you basically have to buy the Brights and the Regals um, Stampin' Right markers if you want these same colors. So this card is quick and simple. I think this would be perfect for like invitations, etc. But let me walk you through it. So I have a piece of the Thick Whisper White. I'm using that today because that's um, my card base four and a quarter by 11 and then this is another piece of the thick whisper white that measures four by five and a quarter and i am stamping the unicorn image using smoky slate excuse me smoky slate ink i want re something really soft because i'm basically um, creating my own background paper with this um, because i want to do kind of like the highlighting technique but not kind of, not really the highlighting technique because <laughs> I'm adding a circle and I'm coloring it, but um, you know what I mean. I just wanted, I just had this idea in my head. So I'm just adding little bits here and there, and those are going to stay the color that they are. I'm not adding any color or any shimmer to those in the background. I'm going to go ahead and clean off my stamp using my Stampin' Scrub so I can go ahead and stamp that unicorn using Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. I'm going to be stamping that onto the circle. This is the next to largest circle in the Stitch Shape Framelits. And then I've cut out a circle out of Bermuda Bay using the largest circle from the Stitch Shape Framelits. So I'm going to get you zoomed in here in just a second and we're going to get this, this unicorn colored. This one is actually in real time, it's not sped up, so it didn't take long at all. So I'm gonna start with red, and then like I said, in a minute you'll see me add in pink, and then I screwed up. <laughs> I somehow got the green marker all over my fingers, so I ended up having to restamp it and redo it probably twice. So, but I did um, rainbow order, but inserting pink Melon Mambo in between red and orange. So it's real red, melon mambo, um, pumpkin pie, daffodil delight, old olive, Bermuda Bay, and then elegant eggplant. So I've cut a piece of this stitched satin ribbon in Bermuda Bay, and I'm wrapping that around and adding it with washi tape. You guys know the drill with that. Totally sounded like a beauty vlogger right there, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> This this card and Wednesday's card, the butterfly, are my absolute favorite from this week. Um, I really like how they turned out. And I love this Magical Day stamp set. And I really hope it doesn't retire because I would love to use it some more. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and adhere this card layer using liquid glue. And I think I mentioned it in a video, but I haven't talked about it again. My glue, I made the hole a little bit bigger because it was stuck. And so a lot of glue comes out now, so don't worry, it'll be okay. But yours, yours shouldn't do that. And that's the Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. Um, yeah, this is the one that if you let it dry before you adhere, it is removable. And if you put it straight down, it's permanent. So once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and adhere my circles together using, again, the liquid glue. So you can see the finished unicorn. It's so pretty. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. It's such a sassy unicorn. I really wish we had a couple of really sassy sentiments to go with it. I think I mentioned I would like one that says majestic AF, but I may be the only person who thinks like that. But yeah, and maybe I'll end up doing a card like that, kind of like I did the North Pole um, photo shoot. That was probably my favorite card this Christmas. So once I have those adhered together with liquid glue, I'm going to go ahead and add some Stampin' Dimensionals. And as I've mentioned repeatedly, I am using up all the Stampin' Dimensionals that came in the um, March Paper Pumpkin Kit. Um, if you've never tried Paper Pumpkin, you can do that now for 50% off your first two months. Um, you have to sign up by April 10th if you want April's kit. 
So yeah, so this is what the finished card looks like, but you know it's not done until I add some Winka Stella. Now, I'm only gonna add Winka Stella to the unicorn's body because I don't wanna smear together the other colors. But you can see that I've added a bow to my ribbon. I turned it on its side. I don't tie bows and ribbon together on cards. You guys have seen, I just can't do it. So I add my bows with a glue dot and it looks Okay, <laughs> so here I am adding that Wink of Stella and again, just to the unicorn body. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I probably won't have a recipe for this one either, but supplies and blog posts will be linked down below and I will see you next week for another week of cards. Bye for now.